Well, hey everybody, Martika here, and I have a Dollar Tree Christmas haul for you today. I got some really great goodies today, so I hope that it will help inspire you and give you some wonderful ideas. The first thing I picked up was this uh, craft paper roll. And this is what it looks like. This is actually what I'm going to use to wrap my gifts for the adults this year. Uh, I'm gonna use some glittery, uh, really pretty ribbon and really personalize it. So I just wanted something plain with not too much on it. But however, for the children, I did get this cute little uh, Disney with Mickey and Goofy and Minnie and Daisy, Donald, everybody on here. So got some great Disney wrap from there. So I got a few rolls of that. I also got some beautiful ornaments. Uh, these are like champagne color with spar uh, with like a silver sparkly balls, really, really pretty. And then this one is more on the gold end. And I'm going to use these on my tablescape that I'm going to show you um, here in another video. So great ornaments. Everything, of course, is a dollar. I also picked up these uh, these white berries. And I'm going to use this just in a uh, as a beautiful arrangement. So uh, picked up four of these. I j I didn't want too many, but I wanted enough so that you could see them. Uh, another great idea for these you can take and maybe spray them with some glitter spray. Uh, do. Uh, add a little color to them, maybe with some acrylic paint, but I'm just gonna leave mine white. They had white and red, but I really like the white ones. Um, I also, I love these things, these renews it's for the bathroom. They had this holly berry scent. Uh, for the holiday, it is a limited edition, but let me be honest with you. When I smelled this and I smelled the raspberry scent that they all always have, they really smell a lot alike. So I don't know if it's the same thing, maybe with a different label. That might be the issue, but I picked up both of these because they were great scents for the holiday. So uh, I'm gonna use those in my bathroom, of course. And then I picked up these cute little decorative bells. I'm just gonna, uh, basically what I'm gonna do with these because they're already decorated, they really don't need much else to them. I uh, have a little hole there where you can uh, put a, a string or something through to string them up if you want, but I'm actually gonna put these on my entertainment section just to add a little something for Christmas there. Um, I also picked up these cute little champagne colored pine cones. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these, but I'm sure I'm gonna figure out something. So I thought those were really, really pretty. They're just little mini pine cones that's been uh, sprayed with um, some champagne glitter. Um, and then I picked up some vases because I'm gonna do a lot of different things with these different vases. I also picked up some of these. Some of them will be used on my Christmas tablescape that you will see very soon. And if you have not, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe, like and subscribe below because I have some great videos coming up for you. I also bought uh, this little candle holder. Have not figured out what I'm gonna do with it, but I was just picking up stuff as I went. And definitely can't leave these out. I think I pick some of these up every time I go to the Dollar Tree because you can use them for so many things. Uh, last but not least, I picked up this little gold globe vase uh, because I have all different type of floral arrangements and I may use that for something. So I got some of these. Um, they had these in their floral section. They had these little uh, red. They're like material. Like they're not like the, um, what do you want to call them? They're not silk, but you know, the plasticky kind of floral arrangements. These are more like a felt or something like that. So I picked up these little poinsettias. And then I also picked up these berries, uh, these champagne colored berries. And then also the, this little arrangement with these red berries and these brown pine cones. But I actually just bought this just for the pine cone. So you will also see this used in my tablescape. So be sure to subscribe and tune in for that. 
Another thing, I did not realize they had these, and, and as many times as I've been in this Dollar Tree, um, this one that I've been going to lately is actually a new one, but they just put these out. They're cute little tacky glues. Uh, this is a three fluid ounce, but tacky glue is a great alternative to Mod Podge. Um, I like tacky glue because it's thicker than Mod Podge. Uh, they both work the same. It goes on white, but it dries clear. But um, if you need something where, where the glue is just not so runny or not so thin, you need a thicker base, use tacky glue. So it's amazing. I don't know if all of them sell it. This is the first time I've ever seen tacky glue at the Dollar Tree. You can also pick that up in bigger bottles at your local Walmart or craft store, Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Um, another thing I have is this little silver box. They come just like this with the ribbon and everything. Open it, you can put candy in there, homemade candy, you can put uh, small cookies in there or whatever. But um, I'm actually, to be honest with you, I'm actually going to use this for a gift certificate. Um, I have my own business and someone purchased a gift certificate a certificate from me and I told her that I would package it up for Christmas because she's giving it as a Christmas gift and I am going to make a nice homemade uh, handmade sorry handmade gift certificate and package it for Christmas so I thought that that was a great 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 idea I also got some garland this is a 15 feet garland that they have now let me show you this garland it's not very thick but I went on ahead and got it because I came to the conclusion that uh, where I'm putting it, the area is not that long. So if I double this up and twisted it or whatever, then I can kind of get more of a thickness out of it. Still not the total thickness that I want, but hey, it, it was only a dollar. So I'm going to work with it the best way that I can and just make it beautiful. Um, another thing that I got... And let me tell you, I have glitter all over me, mainly from these things right here, but they're beautiful. I got these beautiful little poinsettias and they're all glittery. This one is like a, a rose gold or champagne color, whatever you want to call it. This one is more of a gold. And they had silver also, but I'm staying more with like the rose gold, champagne, and gold for this holiday season. So I thought those were, if you can see how glitterly, glitterly, new word, how glittery they are, they're really pretty. But I do have a sealant, and I'm thinking about just spraying a uh, spray sealant on them to keep uh, so much glitter from falling on the floor so I don't have so much of a mess to clean up. So I have like, I bought quite a few of those so that I can have different options of where to put them. Another thing that I like to do during the holidays, I love to bake and I am going to be baking some goodies up. So for my family, instead of uh, worrying about, you know, expensive packaging, because one thing I noticed when I bake for my family for the holidays, nobody really takes it home. They bust it open right then and start eating. So I got the, they had these cute little uh, snack packs. Uh, they call them little loot bags. And these have little gingerbread men on them and stars and everything. And then these have peppermints on them. So I thought those were cute, gave me a little variety. Uh, all of them will most likely have the same thing in them, but I just thought that I would get two different patterns for that. Um, I've got these little ornaments, it's five of them. And basically I got these just to hang from uh, my gifts, just to add some personality uh, to my gifts since I'm using that brown paper to wrap all of my Christmas gifts. So that's something that I can use to personalize my gifts this year. Now, I also uh, bought these to personalize my gifts. I got this gold uh, ribbon, it's 12 feet. Of ribbon so that's a pretty pretty good amount of ribbon for gifts and then I also got this glittery white one so those are I'm gonna use those definitely in different types of ways um, I also got I picked this up from my tablescape and wait till you see what I'm gonna do with these um, this is these are like huge magnolias and I have actually 
um, uh, made some charges, but they're rose gold. So I'm trying to debate on if I'm going to keep this little center. As you can see, uh, they, they did the center of the magnolia in like a gold glitter. I may go over this and do it in a rose gold. I'm not actually sure yet what I'm going to do with that, or I may just leave it how it is. But I thought those were absolutely beautiful. So I got like a whole bag full of these, only a dollar. You can hang these from your tree or wherever a uh, plant or what, whatever you want to do with them. But they are just beautiful. Um, I didn't even know they had these. I saw another customer with it, and I said, that's exactly what I need for my tablescape. But I got these, they had these uh, beautiful silver napkin rings, and I am i didn't necessarily worry about the color because um, if it shows, it shows, that's fine because the table's gonna be kind of glitzy anyway. But it was only a dollar. They are plastic, but I just need them just to hold the napkin together. So I thought that was a great little idea. You can attach things to them. You could probably even go over in Mod Podge and glitter these uh, whatever color you want to if you are sticking with a certain theme. But for only a dollar, there's six of them in there. Another thing, speaking of glitter, I have other colors, but I just love these little packages of glitter that they had. And they had just finished stocking when I got in the store. So they had these gold tones. They have like the golds and different kind of golds. They have copper. They have the chocolate glitter in there. So there's six packs of glitter. Um, in these little packs for a dollar. And then they also had like a white, gray, and black package. And I thought that was amazing because you definitely need these colors sometimes if you're sticking with like different neutral tones. So in case I need them for something, I got them now. So those were really nice. So check your local Dollar Tree and see what colors they have because the only colors that I've really seen was like the pink and the red and the green and blues and things like that. Never saw any uh, more neutral colors like these. Now, the last thing that I wanna show you that I got were these cute little gift bags. I love gift bags. I'm not gonna use a lot of them this year, uh, but for some of the things that I do uh, make, and purchase, I'm gonna use gift bags. So they had these, they were three gift bags in a in a pack, they, they're paper bags, and I thought those were really neat. They have this one that says, From Santa, um, Making Spirits Bright. And then, no peeking. I need to get that one for my husband. He's terrible when it comes to gifts in Christmas. He's always trying to, he's worse than the kids, trying to figure out what's in the bag. So um, this one, these are a little bigger. This side says, let it snow. And then it's only two in the bigger ones, but that was totally fine because you can fit more in them. And then the other one says, peace on earth and a really pretty uh, navy blue and gray and white, very pretty. And I, so I got picked up a couple of, of those. And then I picked up some Christmas boxes. Um, says all kind of stuff on there. Merry Christmas, Merry and Bright, ho, 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 let us know everything. And then the other one says, uh, it, it has like different cups and it says hot, uh, hot cocoa and happy holidays. Now there's one in the middle too. Uh, it's white. It looks like it may have some ornaments or something on it, but I can't see it, but it's three boxes in here and pretty good size you know if you're giving away some scarf and glove sets or things like that it'll fit perfectly in there so those are just a few things that i did pick up from the dollar tree another thing now this did not come from the dollar tree but let me tell you it it's um it's just as good I got this from Michaels and it's some little purple ornaments. Now purple is kind of my accent color in my home and this was like the perfect color purple. Aren't those pretty? Look at those sparkly purple ornaments. Now there are two, four, six, eight. There's eight of them in here. They were only a dollar fifty 
$1.50. If you go in Michaels at all, they always have like a dollar bin up in the front of the store. So uh, when you go up there, go check them out because they have a lot of different items, especially for Christmas right now, for like a dollar, a dollar fifty. You might see a few things for three bucks, but everything, of course, is a really good quality. Um, at my at my studio, I set up a little tabletop Christmas tree, and I had another pack of these. And unlike the glittery items that you get from the dollar store, these hardly had any fallout any fallout at all. So they had, they did have them in different colors. So go check them out and see if you can pick yourself up some. Uh, but that is all. I hope you've enjoyed my Christmas haul. I hope I, I hope I've given you some great ideas. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit the like button if you like this video today. And I will be back with you with some more videos, uh, tablescape, decor, and the whole nine yards, and some great ideas for Christmas gifts. I'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.